So next to this uh, children's playground, we have here part of the classical ghetto wall. The street below is Limanovskirgo and the main one of the gates was a approximately 300 meters to the left and continuing where the, the road itself bifurcates another gate was about 500 meters down to the left. We've got this the wall here and here we have this cliff and this is rather typical ge geological feature of the of the northern part of Krakow. In fact, it goes quite a long way from Krakow in the direction of Chesterhova, these type of outcrops. Um, ne going now to the above part of it, um, last film I made, which, and I was even speaking down there in Limnovskiego, and I said in the film uh, Schindler's List, it was not really possible that um, uh, Schindler looked down the ghetto and saw the ghetto clearance. Um, but judging by the closeness of this here, maybe it was a realistic assumption. This part to get a wall here, which would have been um, higher. Um, the average height, I think, was two and a half meters. So I mean, time somewhere. Um, although I've got a feeling that this part wasn't. The, the ghetto, when it was made smaller, uh, would have gone further, further in that direction. Not direction. So anyway, we're now going to Pashul. This is from the top, which I think could give a view, or could have given a view, of the ghetto. There is Vidok. Good. So there's the view from the top, and there's the ghetto down there, behind that bush. There's the uh, HCP. CHP, I mean, set the heating plant. And if this vegetation weren't in the way, there would be a good view of the Krakow ghetto from here. And it's a fair drop down.